And welcome back to Let's Play Or. Losing our second home was almost unbearable. We had no choice but to follow the malice after the Q-like of the Toru Min descended upon New Elysia. We mourned those who refused our decision and remained on the planet's surface. For two years we had been assisting the Seekers in the search for an ancient Aldar base. Our new guides were led by a sacred map left behind by their prophet. We were people of the arts, people who appreciated nature and beauty. Trapped in the cold hulls of our vessels for years, we began to lose our identities, our sense of purpose. The philosophies of our mystics taught us to be patient, and there we were, finally gazing upon the work of our gods. The Seekers informed us of an inactive Aldar gate in the sector. Was this structure the key? Were we walking the path to divinity? Hmm. Cumulus 5 here, we... The Cthulhuic base in Quadrant Rhea has no data concerning the strength of the forces in the area, but our own forces are weak since this is unlikely we could fend off even the moderate Cthulhuic attack. The geography of the area gives us an advantage. We should be able to activate warning signal if our science vessel scans more of those pods, but cloaking seems ineffective against them. Our main goal should be to find the Aldair base. Okay, so cloaking devices are pretty much useless, apparently. Scan an asteroid... Sorry, what? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please repeat that? Uh. Sorry, give me a second. Data book. Scan an asteroid to activate the warning system. An asteroid po pod. An asteroid pod to activate the warning system. <laughs> so is that the pod? Oh, I really don't know. Well, whatever, I'll have a look at the crystalline structures, I guess. I think that's what it's meaning. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Rally point? Rally point, rally point. Let's see what a rally point is all about. Ah, Aldair base. Right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, everyone and two light freighters for no real reason. Just nah, here's a couple of light freighters. Star chasers with cloak, but you just said the cloak and devices would be uh, whatever. Let's have a look. Did it say that? Scans those pods seems, but cloaking seems ineffective against them. Yeah. So cloaking devices are out. Not that I use them. Also, repair ships, you're not part of Group 1. Just saying, you're, you'll be Group 2. You can stay here. That'd be grand, thank you. Let's keep everyone close by. Uh, you know what? You've gone far enough, I think. So we'll leave you there. I just thought, this is a bunch of fighters. Where's the food coming from? Where's the storage for the food coming from? Because these are all single-seated fighters. Did they have cryo units just fitted? Oh, I don't know. Move the fighters to the thing we point, I guess. Command, we have found something truly remarkable within the debris, an Aldair ship, the first ever to be found intact. The ship was flown by the gods. Oh, hello. The Seekers tell us that this Aldair fighter, the Aldair, blessed this fighter with many fascinating attributes, but perhaps the most useful of all is its ability to hyper jump through space. 
Okay. Well, hmm. Uh, should I use as a? I don't know. If it's meant to have incredible capabilities, I'm pretty tempted to use it. Just to say the least. You know what? Yeah, let's use the Aldair fighter. It should have beam weaponry, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty damn powerful. Hmm, yeah, I think I'll keep the Aldair fighter in the actual fighter group. <laughs> Because, I'll be honest, this is a little bit powerful. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's a powerful ship. To say the least. Powerful ship. Right, so what is my objective here anyway? Data book, data book. Scan asteroid pods, activate the early warning system. The Aldair ship must survive. Bring all remaining ships to the Aldair gates. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. <laughs> Not sure about this trek that we're going on, but. Huh, whatever. I'm not sure we can really avoid them all, to be honest. So yes, we now have the Malice and the Aldair working together. Though there's only one branch of the Malice though. And that is the Seekers of Thruk. Or however you pronounce that. The Seekers, we'll just call them. Because that's partially what they were designated, was just the Seekers. Uh, let's not waste our missiles though. Just in case there is something around the corner, it's a little above our punching grade. Or, you know, weight class, or whatever you see. Hmm. I think we can actually just basically take out everyone that's here. Don't believe we need to be too stealthy about this. Some of the justices are taking a beating though. So there is that issue. But, apart from that, it's not really going too badly. I'm wondering if this is actually setting up an early warning network. Get that down, oh good god. No, 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 no. Hmm. What are the odds we're facing anyway? Six pods and three bipods. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, we'll bring you back, I think. We'll just bring you back. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. If the Aldair fighter starts getting a big chunk of damage, I'm going to just jump her out. But I believe the Aldair fighter should be fine. For quite a while, anyway. Anyway, please use the special weaponry now. Okay, turn off special weaponry, go after this pod, because this... why not? Justices don't really matter what matters, more as the hybrid interceptors and the likes. Because they're the ones that are really punching out a lot of damage. I mean, just look at that, like 10 seconds and dead. <laughs> Can I say how fond I am of all those guys? Yeah. I'm going to fall into the hybrid duelist. Nah, people just go after what you want. There we go. Uh, you know what, you're group three. No, wait, 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 wait. You're group three. Right, group one. Finish off that rock. Yes, yeah, good. Because we want rid of that base and then the base that was over here. <laughs> Let's just watch this thing tear it apart. Not very effectively. Okay. A lot less climactic than I thought it would be, but never mind. Anyway. There we are. I believe the second one was over here. I'm just going to quickly deal with that so we can move on without worrying too much. Group 3, just move up. I scanned a couple of asteroids so I don't know if that's worked or not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Because this one's apparently already seen us anyway. Okay, there. <laughs> whatever. That'll. That's. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bugger it. There's another one over here. Uh... Okay, I see a path that they're wanting us to take anyway. Basically, I should have avoided all of the. Asteroid. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all the blocks of asteroids basically I should have avoided. Oh, whatever. I guess we'll do that because I really don't feel like taking out that many bases. Though I'm very confident that our configuration of ships would be able to do such a thing. Let's try and avoid as much conflict as possible. Let's go the Elysian way about it. And where are those two going? 
it's always like they're trying to get caught. Hmm. We have a spy on their mist. Uh. No, what? Well, Paradigm. I don't think it'll work, but Paradigm. We'll see. Yep, yeah, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> so we're fighting three bipods. We definitely got range over them at least. Problem is, our men's accuracy is quite bad. It's like they went to Stormtrooper training school. For the deaf and blind, that is. Oh, okay. You know what? You guys are going to be Group 3. And you're all going to stop right there. You really just couldn't help yourself, could you, mister? You had to go and repair every little ship. Well, I hope you're proud of, your of yourself because you've started getting another damn fight on us. Ugh. Got a pair of tripod. Oh my goodness, that's more than a pair. <laughs> okay. Hope they've not seen us. Uh. Okay. Are they going to attack though? Yes, they're attacking. Okay. Well, you may as well continue with what you were doing. You're already started. Oh, so. Right, now move back. Let the warriors deal with us. We'll get some missiles on the Kutu pod. Or Katu pod. However you say that. Okay. Well, crap. <laughs> oh, bugger. Hmm. <laughs> well, crap. <laughs> oh. Really? Down there. Sh oh. Seems really badass as well. Oh. Well, anyway, I'll be bringing you back when we're about to fight with that again, so see you in a second. That was my fault, all my fault. Bad mistake there. And welcome back. This time I'm gonna go just this way and have a look this way, I think. I went and saved it as well, so I don't have to fear too much. I just don't feel like facing the capital ship as well as five tetrapods. Just not my idea of fun. It is, but not my idea of fun. 
Okay, 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 okay. At least it's not five tetrapods as well. This might be dangerous. Last one wasn't too bad though. We'll reactivate the special weapons. And fearfully approach it. It looks dead, that's the main interest. Oh, okay, never mind, it's not dead, it's far from dead. <laughs> Alder ship, no! The ship of the gods! Oh goodness, we've lost one. Not one of the ones in my missiles. No, 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 no! Oh goodness, if it survived this, please jump. Hyper jump. No. <sighs> Good thing, apparently, we know how to repair it though. That was risky. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Could even cloak it if I want, but there's no point. I don't know why I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the last mission. Hmm. If it is, then oh, it's a bit anticlimactic. If it isn't, then yay! Yes. <laughs> I'll dare fighter. Can you still hyper jump? No. Yeah, hyper jump's been out now. It's still recharging, obviously, but currently it's out. No idea how long it takes to recharge, but it can also cloak at the same time, which is hmm, interesting. I do remember that the Alder ship can cloak as well as um, hyper jump. Makes a very useful little ship, but one I remember not having for too long, if I remember right. And we move that over here. And we'll skirt across the side of the map. You know, mostly avoiding the enemy as much as possible. Uh, Oh goodness. Oh no. Oh really no. Well shite. Uh we're gonna have to fight these guys anyway. Grip four. In the meantime, just idle. May as well actually just power down. Actually, I think I might have another fight because the freighters. The only reason I think they're here is if they do survive, they get taken over to the. Ne yeah. Wow. They are <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> I think that may be a good word for it. Yeah. I think that may be a good word for it. If you're wondering why I kind of jumped to her, it's because I almost pulled the monitor down by accident. Which is actually a TV screen attached to the wall, but it's, you know. And there's a couple of cables and my foot got snagged in the cables. Nice to know. Anyway, hmm. So maybe that's not the best way to go about things. Group 4. Come over here. Group 1. I guess the best way is to go down the centre of each one of these and be lucky as hell. Either that or patient as hell. I have a feeling patience is more what is required. Which is an old ship stealth basically and I've never been good at ship stealth. I mean, just look at Nexus the Jupiter incident, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, 
They seem to have a roughly guessable patrol path. You know, one that's pretty much coming straight towards me. Ah. Huh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay. Them at the back have been detected. No, stop, stop, stop. Also, don't use special weapon, please. No, group one, I mean. Alright, group one or not, good. Oh, God. <sighs> You've done it again, repair ships. Thank you. I love repair ships and our insane need to repair everything. It's basically OCD in a ship form. Must fix, must fix, must fix! <gasps> it's broken, it's broken, so broken! Same thing. Uh, oops. You guys may as well stay here now. They, you know, did that. <sighs> thing where everyone was put in danger for a little. Power down, power down. Pull out, pull out. And the power down. So basically meeting a bunch of tetrapods is next to death, if not instant death. I believe what I could do is just literally jump them. Jump the... Aldair Fighter in, but that would be ruining, you know, the fun and the stealth and uh, stealth mechanics in a ship really don't work, in my opinion. Maybe if we can control emissions, yeah, sure. I guess what I just need is more patience, pretty much. I think what I need to do here though is <laughs> save it now that we got past that tetrapod group. I think it was tetrapod, wasn't it? No, it wasn't tetrapod. Ah, uh, tripod group. Okay, everyone, everyone. Power down. Group 2. No, not group 2. Group 4. Power down. I think I'll just make a group 0 or 9, I mean. With everyone in it. So, group 9, just power down, please. Some are coming up our backsides, which I'm not fond of. So everyone move... Shit. Here, I guess. We need to get everyone moving, basically. This is quite close. Well, too quite close, if you ask me. Shut down, shut down. Shit. Oh, no, 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 this is not good. Okay. It's only bipods, but still. Uh. Mm. 
Sorry, I'm just patting the can in the meantime. Oh, this is too close. Too, 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 too close. Not comfortable with this at all. Can we get everyone up? Up, 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 up. Right, everyone again. Currently I'm just playing this with one hand while I pet the cat. Don't know why she's wanting petted, but you know. <laughs> up, 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 uh, There. Right, now over this way. See, it's not going too badly. How do I keep tenting failing that? You know what, let's go this way. I should be faster than a pod. Uh, which is currently coming in the same direction roughly, I believe. We can outrun the Katu pod, but we can't outrun that one, which I believe is coming straight towards us. Shit. Shit, 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 for lack of a better word. There's not much a better word than that. Just, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Squeezing past. Buddy. Ugh. Okay, now over this way. I do like that everyone stayed in roughly a cohesive group. I mean, obviously the fighters are flying in fire formation, but the rest of them are just staying near each other generally. Maybe it's because I made a group with them. Cable stuck in my arm. The uh, chair's arm, I mean. Oof. No, no, no. Nine, group nine. Because the camera's moving at the same time. I don't like that sound. I think that means that we're flying towards them. Well, we're almost there. Uh, we'll save it as three. Mission path to the gods. Oh. <sighs> right, let's continue moving this way. If you're wondering, I don't feel like speeding it up, just simply due to the fact that it's, it's tense as all hell, to be honest. Right, theoretically speaking, if I fly roughly towards him, I shouldn't contact. Right? Because <laughs> I'm flying towards him instead of in an intercept pathway. Also, they're higher up now, so we'll move down. Also, they're coming straight towards me, so I'll stop and bring the waypoint back. While well, we move right down. <sighs> oh, goodness, really? Okay, I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Don't mean to be close. No, not tripods, not tripods. Oh dear goodness, not tripods, not tripods, not tripods. No, 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 no. As long as they stay flying away from me. 
I don't know if I've actually mentioned this before, but if I quickly zoom in on the, uh, the tetrapods here, this little white line actually denotes which way it's travelling. So the little white line's uh, directly opposite the direction they're travelling, because it's meant to be basically a designation of the thruster, or where thrust is being applied. So, yeah, just thought you'd like to know that. Anyway. Uh, seems good so far, <laughs> right? Uh, right, people, we need to move forward now. <laughs> I don't mean to be near it. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. It's so sweet. Oh, this is too close. Not comforting. Not comforting at all. <sighs> Woo! For halfway there! <laughs> oh, don't tell me there's going to be like 20 ships in front of me from now on. Oof. It's already been too close for comfort for me. You know what? I, I really don't care. I'm safe scumming. I've not needed it yet, really. I've used it once. But still. I am hell of a paranoid. And I'm not really surprised. To be honest, if anyone's surprised why I'm paranoid then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You've obviously not watched the whole of this video. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, that's almost there, right? Oh goodness, why are you moving out? Stop moving out. There we go. I'll slow time down just in case it ends up skipping it or making it go really quickly. But yeah, whew. Convoy escorted. And we now have the last Elysian fight. Aldair fight, or even. We have reached the quadrant in time and the uh, Aldair gate is here after all this time it's still intact. Ah, Stratus 1 here, we've made it to an unexpected discovery in the sector where transmission visuals. These aren't Kerlick, our readings are... <laughs> Bugger it, you can read it yourself. <laughs> ah. Oh, collectors of matter. What are they? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, this is not good. So, let me get So, lure the uh, Alethan away from the gates. Oh. Well, hello Suicide Squadron, how are you? Good, good. First things first. Will we be able to attack and destroy this, I wonder? There's only five of them, right? Ugh. Okay, here it goes. Guess we're gonna have a Barney, or a Fate, or whatever you wanna call it. Oh, the Elder Fate is fast as old crap, isn't it?
Oh wow, they're powerful. They're really strong. They're effectively like figures. No, I mean capsule ships almost. Hmm. Okay, give me a second, I'll be back. Sorry about that. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -doo. Yeah, you're not too fond of me destroying your stuff, are you? I'm not too fond of going into battle now. Uh, hmm. Two missiles. I don't know if I can take this on, to be honest. I don't think I can. What was it? Squadron 5? Yeah, Squadron 5. Okay, you got no intentions to come after this fleet. Seeing the little fighters that I sent over there is it okay. Oh, could I possibly get them all to? Oh, I don't think I'd survive a fight like that, though. Oh, uh, sail with it. Let's go for it. Bugger! Why not? What are you going for? The Elder? No, you're going for... Missile Defenders. Ah, uh, yeah. Defender. Hmm. Okay. Can we possibly get these guys away? Because they're good fighters. I don't want my good fires to be attacked and destroyed. Wait a minute, what are you going after? You going after the freighters? Uh. Looks like you're going after the freighters anyway. I'm going after one of these guys. Okay. Let's send the repair ship group over here. And the recon and freighters over here. If we do that we have a chance of saving at least one of the two groups. Huh. Right, they are going after the repair ships, which is okay. The repair ships are a lot cheaper to make than this group. But let's see if we can at least save one of the repair ships. Because if we get them to go off in different directions, theoretically speaking. Okay, the gate's clear, so what now? Okay, so you're going after that one. So, back around the other way, please.
we'll do that. Basically just switching them around. And through the gates. You just go straight through the gate. If possible. I don't know how this will work. Do I wave my arms and go hocus pocus? No. Do I need group 3? Or the current group 3 I should say. Uh, ooh, wait a minute, what? You're just generally going after the two of these guys? Doesn't matter which one of the two? Oh, you're going after the closest one, aren't you? Uh. Well, let's make you choose and your own indecisiveness. Hopefully, shall we allow me to save both of them? I'm sorry, what's happening here? <gasps> right! Okay, I get it. I just need to get these guys close enough. Then the rest should take care of itself. There, right. Then group two, just everyone move in. There we go, and just in case the animation gets sped up, we'll slow it back down. Hey, we got a good chunk of the fires surviving though. Not a massive chunk. Lost quite a lot. Especially the missile ones. The seekers of Storek guided us well through an unfamiliar and lonely world. At last we have reached the culmination of our pilgrimage. The Malice and Elysian children of Aldar reached this destination together. And together we will behold the home of our creators. Mm -hmm. For only when blood mixes with blood will the wonders of the cosmos reveal themselves. Okay, so there is more. So, yeah. Nice. Anyway, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. Not massively fond of stealth sections, especially with strips. I'm, I like stealth sections, like normal stealth sections. I wouldn't mind a stealth section... Uh, like people stealth section if that makes sense but I'm not massively fond of it with ships especially when you can't control anything like emissions and the likes but whatever anyway until next time all the best and I hope you enjoy it